Hi, it's Dave T here, and with the weather getting worse and the season almost at an end, it's that time of year to start looking at booking up next year's trips. So with that in mind, today I'm actually going to review a fairly new website and app called clbooking.co.uk for finding and booking CL sites. Now you may well be thinking, why not just use the Caravan and Motorhome Club website? Well, if you've used the club website for finding CL sites, you'll know that it's perhaps, well, let's just say it's not as good as it could be. Now, CL Booking has, I think, a much better interface and a few tricks up its sleeve that the club site doesn't really come close to. So before I get into this review, a few disclaimers to get out of the way. Firstly, one of the backers of this new web service is a guy called Ted Howard Jones, who runs Chelsea Grange CL site. Now, those that follow my channel may already know that I've stayed at Chelsea Grange and have posted a video of the site. Also, I have actually interviewed Ted on the topics of running a CL, and that video may or may not yet have been posted already. So for full disclosure, whilst I did find out about CL booking from Ted, and he is aware of this review, no payment of any kind has occurred, and no one involved with CL booking has any editorial say in the content of this review. Also, just as a side note, I'm actually a software developer, so apologies in advance if I strain to any technical jargon. Now that we've got all out of the way, let's take a look at the site. So CL Booking can be accessed through either the website clbooking.co.uk or their app, which is available on the iPhone and Android platforms. All versions are free to campsite users, but for now I will focus on the website. When I first accessed the site, it displayed a registration page giving the impression that you must register to use the service at all. Actually, that's not the case, and I found that by clicking the logo in the top left, I got to the page that allows for searching for campsites. Weirdly, this only happened the once, and it's not really an issue, but just worth noting, just in case it happens to you, that you can try out the site without registering if you prefer. Though, as you'll see, there are definitely advantages to registering in the long run. If you do decide to register, then you will need to enter your name and email address, phone number, and a password. Make sure you use the sign up form on the left headed to sign up for free and not the site owner form on the right, which as its name suggests, is for site owners. The first big improvement that CL Booking has over the club site is the search interface. Now for me personally, the most important thing about choosing a CL is the location. Typically it's because I want to go on a bike riding route or visit something nearby and I'm looking for a site in that general vicinity. For that reason, I almost always use the map searching facility on the club site, which is really not very good for a host of reasons. Now I won't list all of the problems I have with the club website now, but we'll mention them as I go through the features of the seal booking where they've addressed those. Now if you scroll down the home page a bit, you'll be straight into the search section labelled find it, view it, book it. If that book it part sounds interesting, it is, and we'll be covering that later on. At the top of this section, you have a box to enter either the CL name, village, town, or postcode area. And this is a, I'm gonna call it a smart field, so it will prompt you with suggestions as you type. And you can also enter the county in a similar way if that's more applicable. By the way, to get to this point on the club site, it's about four or five clicks, and there's no prompting on any of the search fields on the club site. Back to CL Booking and you can now click the search button which shows the found CL sites on the map as well as listing them on the right hand panel. If you leave the two location fields empty then you'll basically see all sites. Now you may have noticed the arrival and departure date fields on the left and this in many ways is the real game changer. Because if, for example, I choose to stay from the 12th to the 20th of April 2022, which is Easter next year, then you'll notice that as soon as I click search, then the map is colour coded green for those that have availability and red for those which are fully booked. I can then zoom into an area such as around, say, Oxford, and then use the other filters such as electric hookup and hard standing, and you'll notice on the map the icons immediately reflect the change. Now, again, on the club website, you basically have to kind of go back, search again, that zooms you out to a different area, and it's much more messy. Now, another advantage here is if, like me, you enjoy staying at off-grid sites, then there is actually an option to filter by off-grid to list only those without an electric hookup. As you can see, the site icons also show the pitch prices for each site, so if you are price sensitive, then you can easily compare location against cost. I'd be interested to perhaps have an option of showing other features such as hard standing or no hard standing instead of price. 
Also, a negative option on the search filters will be great to have. For example, there must be just as many people with children who are searching for not adult-only sites as there are who people that don't want to stay with children who are searching for adult-only sites. So a negative option on search would really be a great thing to have. Focusing on the map for a moment, you can actually use the wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out. Again, on the club website, if you try and do that, it throws up an annoying message to say that you shouldn't be using the mouse wheel. When you click on a site icon, then a small thumbnail appears with a photo and some basic information. Now, again, this is a might seem like a minor point, but again, this is a major improvement over the club website, because on the club website, if you click on a site location, if that site owner has correctly entered a nice long description, they display that entire description in a box and pan the entire map so that now you are no longer looking in one area but suddenly you're looking miles away and then you have to pan back again, which is a massive irritation. And again, even I have actually notified the club of this several years back, no actual change by the club. On CL booking, the only time that the zoom area or the pan position of the map will change is if you happen to click on a site which is right at the extremities of the map, which is perfectly acceptable, and even then it doesn't move far. If you want to see more information, then simply click on the thumbnail and it will open a new tab for the site. Now, again, this is a small thing, but again, really important difference to the club site, which replaces the current map page with the sites page, unless you deliberately right click and choose open in new tab. When looking for sites, I usually find an area and then open several possible sites in different tabs. So kind of like a short list so that I can then review each one, decide which one to go for. So this is very much a welcome feature as it works in that way automatically. The site page shows a photo gallery, a full description, a video of the site if there's one available, a list of facilities, um, it also shows pricing, site rules, nearby attractions and landmarks, including links to the attractions websites. To locate the CL site, there is a full address and a postcode, as well as the much more innovative What Free Words. Now, if you haven't heard of that, What Free Words is a method or system of identifying any position on the entire planet on the globe, uh, just using free random words like I don't know, sausage, kettle, pot and that will give you a location somewhere in the world. So it's a very simple way of just remembering a location rather than a complex or long um, coordinate system. The location section shows a zoomable map of the site and that uses OpenStreetMap for its mapping. Now there is no satellite view option, which is unfortunate as I found it's often a good idea to check a CL site's location with an aerial view. This gives me a lot more confidence as to what type of area the site is in and also be forewarned if the, on the exact locations in terms of the approach and stuff like that. Another small limitation which should be easy to fix is that no latitude or longitude coordinates are shown. Now my personal sat nav in my car allows me to enter latitude and longitude coordinates which means I can get a direct exact location of where I'm heading to but equally latitude and longitudes will give you usually the exact position of the site so again is useful for using with something like Google or whatever where you want an exact match rather than navigating to a postcode which in a rural area uh, can be quite approximate. And this has saved us a load of hassle in the past when particularly looking for more remote sites. So just to jump in here, actually whilst doing the editing, I noticed that if you click on the What Free Words link, then you go to a fairly plain map, but you do get the option to go to Google Maps. It defaults to a route from your current location, which you can obviously change, and you can then zoom in as I'm doing here, and you have access to the uh, satellite imagery. And also from here, you can get to the street view for street views of the location. So whilst it would be ideal to have a direct link, you have actually got a, an adequate replacement, albeit with two clicks. So after that short list of my minor gripes with the system, let's scroll back to the top of the site and look at the side panel that I skipped past. Now on here, you can see the site's availability, which allows you to adjust your selected dates to find availability. Now this is where I think that CL booking really has the advantage, because ordinarily there is literally no way of knowing availability without either phoning or emailing the site owner. This can be massively frustrating, since in the past I've either phoned one of three possible sites, only to find out a few days later they've got no availability, 
to then have to repeat the process, in which case other location, uh, other sites may then no longer have availability. Or alternatively, I email, leave phone messages for several sites. One of them gets back and says I've got availability and we book, but then I have to either recontact or wait until the other sites get me back and say, I'm really sorry, but we found somewhere else. So again, that entire process is quite messy and CL Booking does an absolutely fantastic job of avoiding that. Uh, where the actual site will give you the availability so you can just go straight for the sites that can actually accommodate you on the dates you require. The other related advantage to CL Booking is that you can actually inquire and or book direct from the site. Now depending on the arrangements that the particular campsite has you will either be directed to their own online reservation system if they have one in which case it additionally sends you an email to warn you that you will still need to book or register on the site's own uh, reservation site. Alternatively, if the site doesn't have their own online system, then you will be taken to an inquiry form on the CL booking site. And this asks you to answer some additional questions such as your address, contact numbers, type of pitch, number of adults and children, number of dogs, and your vehicle type and length. Now at this point, I was gonna mention it would be good if they stored this information against the account, mainly because I'm always forgetting the length of our van. But I won't mention that because actually they do do that. And if you book a second time, it already remembers what you put in for those details and you can still modify them, obviously. Now, once you have booked, then you get a confirmation email and also taken to the dashboard page of the site. This shows you the number of inquiries, future and past bookings at a glance, or you can list each of those categories. A minor oversight here, and it really is nitpicking, but it would be good to have a link to the site page rather than just listing the name. When booking multiple unfamiliar sites, it's easy to forget the names and a link and or address would help make these lists a bit more meaningful. But like I say, that is really a minor point. At the moment, the CL booking site does not accommodate the ability to actually add a review and I don't expect or even think it would be a good idea if it, does, it should do that. That's because there's already a mechanism whereby you can put reviews on the club site and there are links onto the club site to be able to view the full details page, including the reviews. Minor point, if it was possible, I'd like to have a link just going straight to the reviews page on the club site, but again, that's a really minor point. So far, I've only briefly played with the CL Booking app using an iPhone, and as far as I can tell, it provides pretty much all of the same features as the main CL Booking website. Now, for me personally, I would not often be booking CL sites from my mobile phone, purely because we tend to pre-plan all of our stays, and I obviously have access to a full PC and laptop and so on. However, for people that only have mobiles or tablets, then it is definitely perfectly functional and I only noticed a few minor glitches that made it flow just a tad less smoothly than using the website. Having said that, compared to using the club site on a mobile, it is definitely much, much better. For people touring who are both more likely to be using mobile devices and importantly are much more likely to find themselves in need of booking a site for you know, that night or the very next day because they're touring around and they're not sure where they're going to be, then CL Booking is definitely an app that people such as that should be downloading because it does give you the option of literally saying, I need a site somewhere around here and it needs to have availability tomorrow night. So again, the fact that it can show availability is a massive win for someone that's actually doing touring. So definitely a win there. So as you can tell, I am very impressed with this site, both in terms of its interface and also the possibility it gives to streamline the entire booking process by showing availability on the dates you require. However, as with a lot of online ideas, scale is king. CL Bookings has only been up and running for a few months and is still in the process of signing up CLs to participate. This means that at the moment only a fraction of the UK's 2200 CL sites are listed on CL Bookings. Now I have no doubts that the number will grow because CL Bookings does offer both the site owners and members lots of advantages and time savings. But as it stands then it's only going to be a partial picture of available sites. Now having said that I still think it is worthwhile for Caravan and Motorhome Club members to register and use the site, even if only to make its user base large enough to encourage more CL owners to register with it. For members wanting to book a trip at late notice, where timing and availability are much more important than location, then it is, without a shadow of a doubt, the first place to look. There simply is nowhere else, to the best of my knowledge, where you can enter your dates of travel and see instantly CL sites that have capacity on those nights. 
Now I'd love it for every CL site to be listed with perhaps those that are not registered having less functionality in some way. And if that was the case, then I'd have no hesitation in always making CL bookings my starting point when looking for a site. I would then probably tend to use the registered ones which are indicating their availability, if only for convenience, which may be incentive enough for other sites to fully register. In fact, if it meant I could use a fully loaded version of CL Booking, then I think I might actually even pay for the app just for the improved interface. Having spent a lot of time talking to CL owners, I really do think they are underserved by the club, and perhaps something like this really is the way forward. So that's my overview of this new booking website. It's good to see that someone is actually trying to make finding and booking CL sites easier for us users. I'd certainly be interested to know your thoughts on the website, so please do take a look using the link in the description and then make a point of commenting below. I hope you found this video helpful or interesting, and if you have, then please do hit that like button. And if you are interested in seeing more videos I make, then please consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, thanks for watching.